At the start of my A-level course, I was asked to look at animal portraiture. These pages show my research into animal forms. I was then asked to create a final piece using an animal of my choice, my choice of which being a leopard. However, instead of using real life colours, I used saturated and unnatural colours inspired by the artist Franz Marc. My final piece for this project was inspired by the original painting of Two Women on a Hillside by Franz Marc. And whilst researching into this artist, I discovered I enjoyed his older work, work that depicted a realistic style, especially ones of the human form. Next, I had the assignment of studying Sarah Graham and her still life works of sweets and ornaments that she had in her home. After studying Sarah Graham, I had the task of creating my own still life studies of items within my home. Throughout this task, I experimented with mediums such as acrylic paint, colour pencil and watercolour. While I enjoyed recreating Sarah Graham's work, I discovered still life wasn't an art movement I would want to continue with in the future. The next artist I was asked to study was Ernest Haeckel, a scientific artist who researched natural forms of things such as plants. Originally, our project was to create a lamp inspired by Ernest's work. However, due to COVID difficulties, that project was put to a halt. Once we could continue, we created ink prints inspired by our original lamp designs. Once my ink print had dried, I added further detail with white and black pen. After studying animals and still life, I went on to study in the human form, more specifically the female form. I went on to create thermal slash heat map inspired body portraits to further develop my understanding. An artist who particularly stood out to me along the theme of portraiture and the human body was Henry Clive, an artist who I was able to choose myself. I particularly like how he adds elements of fashion into his pieces. I went on to further explore my interests of fashion by creating a 1920s inspired piece, whilst also keeping features of traditional fine art portraiture. Next, I got the question of out of the ordinary to create my next final piece. With the research into what the question means to me, I came across the artist Lucas David. Lucas's work caught my attention because it was visually interesting. I found his compositions were able to catch my attention in an instant. Something I wanted to be able to do within my own work. To develop my own idea, I decided I would start to focus on solely the portraiture. In my finished rough, I decided to add blood coming from Rihanna's mouth to match with the theme of Lucas's work. However, I decided in the making it would look better and fit better with my other work if I didn't. But however, I did stick with the elongated features. For my final finished piece, I wanted to create a monarchy style portrait, but using elements from two contemporary artists, Sua Chen and Raul Barrera, and one traditional artist, Paul Cezanne. I used themes of monochrome colour palettes from Zua, and the head from an artist's copy from Raul. From Cezanne's work, I used a Harley Quinn pattern on the garment and kept with saturated colours for the rest of the painting. I created this piece using colour pencil and acrylic. I want to use colour pencil on the face, hair and ruffles to add further detail. Finally, in these past few months, I've acquired more control to explore my interests in fashion, researching and collaging my favourite pieces from recent Vogue magazines. I want us to focus on female liberation within fashion, focus on fashion on the 70s, but also creating designs that were inspired by my final pieces. These last two pages of my portfolio are works in progress for future final pieces. The first one being Henry Clive inspired and the second one is a 50s inspired still life portrait. However, I feel I need to adapt the composition to be more interesting. Moving on to my sketchbook, the first piece is inspired by Steve Madden's adverts. The next page is where I started to study British punk rock. If I was to create these designs, I would create them with leather or vinyl type materials and add stud details. Then I looked at current trends in recent Vogue magazines, which reminded me of baby doll summer dresses. I drew these dresses with felt tip pens to allow a more free and fun feel. Whilst looking through Vogue, I found a picture that reminded me of David Bowie, which led me into looking into Ziggy Stardust. I created designs based on his looks. Next, I created two multimedia pieces inspired by the feminism movement and paired them with two bell hooks quotes on feminism. And finally, I continue to develop some designs inspired by one of my final pieces. Thank you so much for watching.